In this video, we'll make the same hair that we use in video 222 and 227. We'll make the same hair reach the waist. As I showed you already in video 222 and 227, you can use the same hair to have some beautiful locks extension, curly with some nice curves, just like this one right here. If you don't want the curls, you can just use some hair braiding inside of it. It'll stretch a little bit. You won't see too much curves. Um, if you want it to reach the waist, watch this video. The hair is from the curlrefinery.com. It's a black owned business. This is what I mean when I said if you don't want too much curves, add hair inside. This is the same length the little girl is wearing. Hers is just stretch. I add the same hair. I twist her hair with the same hair before I wrap it. For the waist length, uh, I choose to part it this way. We're doing some squares and some rectangles. Not all part will be the same size, but we're not doing triangles. We're not doing the circles. What I'm doing here is make the hair bigger. I am fluffing it. The hair, when it comes, it looks like this. So I open it so it can look that big before I start twisting it with her own hair. Making these parts are very easy. I'm showing you the difference between one row to the other one. Try not to have this line right here. Try not to put the other one right on top of the one you have at the bottom. Try not to do that. It may happen, it's okay, but try to have it this way instead. This is how you have it uh, looking full without doing too many locks. I used six packs and the process took six hours. In the info box, I'll leave a link where you can find the hair. Again, she is a black owned business and I'm using color 1B. The reason we use so many packs is because one is reaching the waist and two, I use one and a half strands for each lock. The natural state of the hair, it's a big, uh, each strand is like a thick uh, spring twist. You have to fluff the hair. I fluffed it and split it into two. I use half to do the twist and then I use a whole uh, twist, a whole spring twist to do the lock. I made the twist very loose so it can be pain free. I also make sure that I twist her hair all the way down. I stop the twist like one inch where her hair stops just to make sure that her hair is completely safe. So her hair is in the twist. When we take it out, we'll find her hair in the twist. It won't tangle with the weave. Remember, I use half of the strand to twist her hair and I'm using the whole strand here to do the lock. And I fluff the strand so it can be very uh, big, so it can have nice, uh, nice volume to it before I start crocheting it on her hair. And here, this is how I attach it uh, from the roots. I'm using both strands and that's how I make sure I have a decent length before I start uh, wrapping it. And at the roots, I make sure it's not too thick at the roots. So I just um, pull it some more right here before I start wrapping. Make sure it's not too thick at the root. Otherwise, it will look very thick, very fat from the root and then you end up with some thin ends and it won't look right. They all have to be the same size till you reach the end a little bit. Even though I crochet two long strands at the root, uh, to make the lock, I use one strand to wrap almost the entire lock. I'm only switching once I'm almost done with this one. Right here, I just start using the second long strand to finish the lock. Now that I have just two strands to finish the locks, that's when I start switching them. I would switch from the left to the right and then keep wrapping. Once they become shorter, I move them uh, up and then start making the knot. I will make from three to four knots. Sometimes I would make two. 
That way the log won't unravel. I am repeating the same process with the last strands that I had hanging. With this hair, it's very kinky. You don't have to use a lighter to seal it. All you have to do is just tie it and then you'll be fine. There's no way this one can unravel. And that's how the other uh, ends look like. If you really want this hair to have some curves still, you can just do this right here. And then you'll have some nice curves to it. That's why I didn't use any braiding hair that's not uh, that's another texture. I use the same braiding hair so I can still have a little bit of curves. I am showing you one last time how I did the roots. Um, I took one whole strand, fluff it, split it into two and crochet it this way make sure you don't use too much hair at the root so it won't be too fat you'll have a like uh the head would be super big and then the ends will be very skinny so that's not good make sure you do it um make sure you use uh, not too much hair at the root before you start wrapping it and then use one strand to wrap all the way down uh, once you run out of hair you uh, switch it and take the other strand to keep wrapping. Once you read the bottom, you'll have two uh, thin strands to deal with. You'll move it all the way up and then make uh, two knots or three or four knots, depend on the amount of hair you have. Then you have the other one at the bottom and you move it up. Then you make some knots again, then you're done. I am basically done here. All I'll do is just add some alcohol free mousse to reduce the frizz a little bit. And of course you'll end up some beautiful curls at the end, which may cause the hair to shrink a little bit. And uh, if you don't want uh, no curls at all, use some cheap hair braiding to twist the hair and then you wrap. I like it when they have beautiful curls at the end, so I use the same hair to twist her hair and if you want to see how this uh, to take this hair out check video 222 or video 227 I show that a lot once again I use six packs it took six hours to do it the hair is from the curl refinery that come I'll leave uh, that information in the info box below and if this video was helpful please let me know in the comment section below also give this video a big thumbs up i've been using this hair for a while now and i'm playing i'm planning on making more products with it um we're planning on making a crochet version of this length and the mid back length you'll see it right here this is what we're planning on doing i'll have a video on showing you how this look before i have it for sale it'll be on my website and keep in mind that this is the same hair that I use for my long spring twist. Uh, I sell this hair. The one to the right is the crochet version. The one to the left is the install of it from straight from the scalp. The middle is crochet, but you can really see it. Uh, I have this hair for sale on my website, pre-twisted already. You're looking at it right here. Uh, this is the long version. I also have the short one for children. Uh, I have information on how many bundles an adult need and how many a child need. I also have the colors option lined up as well. You can pick the color that you want. But we'll have the locks to crochet too on the website very soon. I just have to make sure I have a sample out first. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.